Welcome back to part 22 of my Meow Ying Let's Play, Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time, facing off against Zinch's final challenge, the battle at the Impossible Fortress, where we'll face his chosen champion, the Librarian. So, let's dive on in and face the Sorcerer's final test. Here we go. As always, thanks for all your comments, advice, tactics, and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming, as well as those unit name suggestions over on part one of this series. The impossible fortress, impregnable to all but the insane. To enter the fortress unbidden would be a mistake, but piercing its defenses will suffice to summon the wrath of the librarian. Control the crystal of lore in the labyrinth. This will give you a foothold and grant us supplies to reinforce for the struggle ahead. There are two other crystals you will need to capture, and so dominate the battle. Confound the Great Changer. Refuse to play the part he has written for you, and destroy all who get in your way. Okay, let's confound that Changer. Out of interest, of the final battles in each of the Realms of Chaos, which has been your favourite and why? Let me know down in the comment section. Obviously, I'm still going through them all. I haven't fought all of them across the campaign yet. I've still got the Nurgle one to do as my final one in my Demon Prince campaign. Uh, so I'll let you guys know soon which has been my favourite. Uh, I think in terms of Realms overall, surely the vast majority of people are going to say Slanesh just because of the uh, temptation options that you can get. I guess it probably, I would say probably Selenesh, then Corn, and then maybe Nurgle, then Zinch. I guess it depends whichever one of those two realms, Nurgle or Zinch, people find most frustrating. I would imagine people are going to say Zinch with the whole teleportation thing. So I'm quite glad we're not going to have to worry about doing that again. Uh, cavalry, I could swing you around to get down behind. I could just rush you straight down there, actually. What have they got up here? Oh, Screamers. They're anti-large. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, so I'll just run you along that way a bit. Mistress of Storm. Uh, I'm thinking I'm actually just going to drag it up with Meow Ying and send us straight into it to keep them all busy. We're going to probably want to just move the cannons and the sky junk into position for the reinforcement waves which will come in from behind once we take the burning crystal. Right, that looks good. Let us begin. Oh, yeah. Can't drag it up just yet. Okay. Just run towards them. Crossbowman. Mines as one. Seeking Cathay's holes. Send all my troops forward a bit. Bringing harmony. March in ordered ranks. Fire on those screamers if you can. And Sentinel. Off you go. Scream's gonna go right to my cab. Over that way. Off you go, Sentinel. Okay, yeah, the Grand Cannon's faster than I was expecting. be okay we can always replenish it up i'm gonna spend the points on that straight away Yao ying get on over there and save that cannon yeah they broke and they'll come back that's fine you tim down you go Yeah, they've come back. Good. Just get back on your cannon. There we go. Wreck them there. Early spend of the power reserve, but that's okay. 
fire over here. In you go. Mess them up. Rain gunners, get down here. You want to fire from fairways behind. Cannon, get on in. And I'm going to heal you up again. Also resurrect, which is quite useful. Start setting up my defenses. Down you come. You, Tim. Get in there and capture that point, please. Go smash on through. My cavalry up here, I think. Actually, hmm, I'm thinking... When the enemy attacks, they've got this cliff to then fire on down on my troops. I'll kind of have to sit a ways back. Probably maximize and draw them close enough so I can hit them. Okay, there we go. Sentinel, in you come. And yeah, we'll definitely want to build a tower here. It's a good position between this first point and leading up to the next one as well. So it'll help us out a fair bit. Let's get a barricade in there. Barricade in there. We could plop a tower here as well, but we also get some reinforcements. So what can we get? Some crane gunners and some Jade Warrior Halberds. Um, you know what? I'm going to whack out the Halberds. And I'm going to use them to delay the enemy up here. Harry's not going to be super useful in this. That's okay. Could get another tower here as well. I might go for that one, actually, the cannon tower. While well, they're all focusing here, because we can always deconstruct them later on. The Don't go out that way. Chill out over here. Those be some flamers. Okay, you know what, cavalry? I think I get, I get, the, I get the feeling you're gonna die. So if I leave you out there, I was hoping I could just pick off some of their some of their troops, but I don't think it's gonna quite happen. I think I'm just going to see my cavalry melt even more than they already are. So let's not worry about them too much. We'll just use these guys as fodder. What I should probably do, yeah, is set some of them like so. And like so. And yeah, we probably should have a blocker up there. Need to push to them there a little bit. On in, take him out. Fire up there. And that is just asking to be talons of night. Pop it straight in there. Just taking some damage, but she's keeping them all busy, slowing them all down for a bit. That is some rather taste damage. Go off the flamers because they are gonna wreck us otherwise. around over there you tim got to keep pushing through that push 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 there's my cav cavalry push along there please as well take them all out over there please in you guys go Dragon 
Terracost Sentinel. Go, go, go. But we've actually got to move forward a bit more. Some of my missile troops in. I'm trying to keep them back so we don't get annihilated by all the pink horrors. But I'm going to be able to offer much support. Don't send you out there. I'm going to offer some support. I've got to move closer. Crossbows. crossbows go forward there. Let me just tuck in there, please. Looking good. Can you guys fire from down there? I'm not even sure you can. Hey, you guys are the ones I summoned in. I'm not too worried if I lose you guys. That's all right. Knock out their barrier with the wind blast. Defenders of Cafe. Yes. You Don't Tim, let's get you in the mix. Wind and fire. Whatever is required. Anything for Cate. Okay, off formation Naturally. attack, that's why. It pleases the dragons. Overwhelmed. Yeah, get that right in there. Come on, that should annihilate them. Is it just the barrier soaking up all the damage, I wonder? The barrier should be gone now, so they should be losing a lot of health. Ah, uh, no, yeah. That's what the problem is. Most of it's going straight to the barrier. Harmonious Sentinel, in you go. Master of Azir. For the Emperor. Defend the realm. Sent by no. Get back, get back, get back. Don't go near the lightning. Cavalry, you've got a death wish. Uh, we got a little bit lucky that it went off that way. But we're also shooting our own guys. Run away from the lightning. This is a terrible idea. Okay, now turn around. Kill him, please. Okay, whack that in there now. Their barriers are low. This should have them. Starting to go. Sun Yang's faithful. Dragon Guard for the Emperor. Jade Lancers. Will the cavalry back go that way? Or flank on around the other way? Crossbows and you go. Terracross Sentinel. The Celestial Faithful. Cavalry. Put everyone off guard mode. Dragon Guard. Really seems to be hampering them. The will. You just feel a bit sticky. Gonna heal there. Uh, do a wind blast to break the barrier on these guys. Pop up your ammo. Mage of the Celestial Court, suffer Zeus' wrath. My test begins. Get you guys healing. Warrior crossbows for the Moon Dragon. It felt like a much longer slog than when I did with my Demon Prince. But then I did have probably more high tier units, I guess. Not pushing out as much. 
as I did in that one. Just, I'm just playing it pretty cautious. Make sure I don't lose too many of my troops. And only using the, the weaker reinforcements to or halberds to... I just told you guys all to heal and you've you've wasted that by just sitting there getting slapped by these guys. Could you not? Now we've got so many supplies to get everyone healed up, sorted out. Because we're going to need it after that showing. Okay. Get you guys. Ammo replenished. Another Talon's there. Thankfully, we can do channel wins. Up your ammo. In harmony. There we go. We've nearly done it. Waves down to 1%. For the Emperor. Zap and more Meow Ying. Pest control. Probably taking harder or more work to do this one because we've not really sent too many of my troops out tried to keep them all back apart from this big old clutch here that was like yeah just just charge forward into all those pink horrors what could possibly go wrong oh no they're dying everybody healed up yeah that's collapsing behind us right Let's reform the battle lines. You guys are completely out of ammo. Get the rest of you guys replenishing on ammo as well. Defenders Bring you all back here. By I mean, I, I don't think the, the time it takes you to do this matters in terms of the campaign. It's just purely on, you know, boasting so rights for... It. Oh, it took me this... I got this amount of score the in the battle. Um, what I'm going to do actually with you guys, I'm going to withdraw you guys. Then you'll be available in the pool to use again. Cavalry might have a bit more use here. I mean, you're great against the pink horrors, just mopping them up. It's time to get everything in order. I wish there was another tower over this side. Just save the points. So yeah, we'll have those guys coming back in. We've got some crane gunners that I could bring in. I'm not too worried about bringing them more of them in right now, to be honest. The dragons asked. Yeah. Sky junk blast away. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna send you in on foot. Harass them. You Tim. Let's let's use your spells again, bud. But how about this time? Just just, just a teeny tiny thought. How about this time? We don't pop the big old chain lightning vortex. Cavalry. Super dangerously close. my infantry H how's that sound yeah good plan Mine good plan For the moon dragon. glad we could agree that all right send those guys there you guys through here. Move as wind. Swords, if we can, we'll send you all the way around to the left. Crossbows, we'll put two and two. Artillery, I think I'm going to have you back here actually firing up. And you guys could do with a little bit more ammo. You guys want to keep on healing? That'd be great. Replenishing. Rain gunners go here. Sentinel, up you come. Get stuck in. I don't want to use this too many times more because I want to save it for later on, but as long as we've got the channel of wins. Keeps on increasing the reserve. So that's all good. The storm dragon. If we can get them all down here. Got two more use of that. I might wait for for slightly later on actually. You guys not healing anymore? Oh, uh, you've hit your. No, you haven't hit your. 
Oh, uh, no, you have hit your cap, so you're not going to re regenerate any more troops. Right. You guys should be able to get in there. If this doesn't go well, then I will be promptly putting that cavalry back and plopping in some talons. We've removed everybody else forward. Yes, we have. Uh, we can get rid of the barricade, save us a little bit of money. We'll keep... Um, no, we can get rid of that tower. We'll keep that one there, though. Might catch some of the ones that come in from back here. My mind is ready. Jade What's that cavalry doing? Yeah, doing well. Doing well. That's what we like to see. The Off their defense. Oh, let's watch this sentinel go through. Oh, yes. The animations are cracking. I think the rogue eagle still has my favorite animations across the series. But I feel like Terracotta Sentinel's my favorite construct animation set. Like, you can feel the weight in his moves, but then he just goes into a big old spin of flurries and stuff. Cool is. Ah! Yeah, GG to the Creative Assembly Animation Department. Smashed it again. Okay, we need to get our troops up here swiftly. More ammo for you. What's this point called? This is the uh, deviating crystal. I always forget that they, they provide negative um, uh, debuffs and hexes and stuff. The thing is, though, that I don't quite... I, I feel like, in a way, it would make more sense if you had a way of bypassing some of them to go straight to the end so it's your choice to kind of interact with some of them i guess it just slows you down on each you know each stage until you get it and, and makes it so that you're then back up at full strength for the final battle but I, I think it might be interesting if they um maybe considered changing it so that it's Also, kind of, I don't know, as like an option. Cavalry. Of like, you can you can take out the debuffs, or you can go straight for the end boss and see if you can just overpower them with sheer brute strength, basically. Repositioning. I mean, because the hexes, in a way, a are almost it's almost kind of pointless telling you about them because you've got to go through each one to clear each one anyway to get to the final boss. If that if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely bring out Celestial Dragon Guard. Dragon Guard. Random Lionheart. Ramblings. While he waits for the AI to spawn in enemies. You guys go there. Which leaves you guys free. I feel like actually one of you guys should go over here. Where can I get a tower? Where can I get a cheeky tower? There's one here. I guess that's where we're going with that. Right, the main thing is going to be crane gunners. Are we set up artillery? Where are we set up? Not well. Crane gunners over here. Crossbows. Like just out in front, I guess. Or we'll do two that way to that way and we'll have sky junk over here got me hanging back here because i know they send some troops this way as well send her on in got that bit covered We've got cavalry kind of watching here if we need to i might pull them in here just so a little bit safer use him head over this side terracross sentinel head into the chaos knights of zinch and we should definitely build a blocker there Takes him a while to get going, doesn't he? There we go. Ah, baboom. Fire, 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 fire. 
what we're going to do, you, Tim, how close do you need to be? Not too much closer. Um, let's try a vortex through here because they've got reinforcements coming in all the time. Also think we should have brought one of you guys across. Fire, 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 fire. We can actually have another tower there, which is quite useful. Oh, they do send some from behind. Now I've got them locked in. Oh, and there's a tower here. Definitely get a cannon tower there. Talons in there. Suck them in. Ooh, they're just running away. Oh, I was really hoping I'd caught that just in time. Missed it. Knock out that cavalry. Missile troops. Turn around because it's going to come along here. Going against the screamers. Probably one of the most annoying units Master in the Zinch roster because they're good at just kind of disrupting up the line. No, 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 no. What are you doing, Cav? Well, that's the least optimal. Oh, no, yeah, you're going to those guys. It's like, don't charge down that way. Come back up here, please. Terrible Sentinel. The rest of you guys. Sit back a little bit. Actually, no. You guys can push out. You guys can't fire from that. Which is... That's just grand. But the crane gunners probably would have been a better setup for here. Yikes. That is nasty. Now you can get over there and harass them. Terracotta Sentinel, get on in. Cavalry, get on in. Meow Ying, get on over there. Turn that cannon round because it's not doing anything for us there. You two go that away. Go that way. You guys are just asking for this, but first, wind blast you to knock out your barrier. Now plop it. Take out the flamers. Jade crossbows. Stone and steel. Stone and steel. Move back across that way. Ah, Tim, get away. Cross you guys go. Oh, why you guys still on guard mode? I thought I took it off. Oh, wrecked him there with Miao Ying. Top stuff. Also have a heal, mate. You guys can probably just charge on it now, though. They're all about to go. There we go. Oof. Grab a heal. Grab a heal. Grab some ammo. Grab a heal. Let's not heal anymore. That's fine. In you go. Down six percent on that round. It's all good. Warrior crossbows. 
keep augmenting those wins. Stone and steel. See how the librarian handles a dragon. We got. We should have a load of sentinels coming in on the next uh, final point. The ever climbing crystal. The oh, they've gone. Send me Ying down here. Cavalry, get out of there because you're just going to get shredded. Up you come. Hit you. You can't heal up anymore. You've hit your limit. That's fine. I stand ready. Could you not? Wind and fire. Harmonious roar. In you go. Keep him busy. Chaos Furies, please go do one. I do not appreciate you. decent setup up here because the this one actually is so close to where they come in it makes for quite a slog i'm thinking i might have the artillery like sat here firing back and with most of my troops pull them all back to sort of these lines just so that we can force the enemy to come in a little bit and then drop some magic on their faces what i'm hoping to do meanwhile send meow ying to shred the librarian what? Why would you go that close to fire? You've definitely got line of sight. Surely. Dragon guard. All of you on. Yeah. How many times have I turned those guys off guard mode? Please stop putting it back on. Anyone else feel like it comes on a lot? <laughs> See, it doesn't they don't follow the global choices maybe they do now group seven formation attack on formation attack off right, they've all gone they're now attacking that next group ay 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 right let's form everybody up yeah, I'm really not worried about the taking my time Mark with this. We join. Move as wind. Move as wind. There is a way. With infinite pride. Oh yeah, what's what, what are you doing out on your own, mate? It appeases uh, the dragons. With infinite pride. There we go. Never conquered. All of you have a little bit of replenishment. The celestial faithful. Cavalry. Cavalry, I'm gonna lose you if I'm not careful. I'm gonna try and leave them back at this spot and see if that's enough. It might not be. I might just throw in a barricade blocker here. And a platform there and kind of put them there. That way, the only way the enemy can come to them is through this point. Wind and fire. And so we're drawing them out to us, which is good. Take them off the point. Got a Lord of Change coming. Let's uh, take out the bird boy. With a dragon lass. One. Should be huge damage whether or not they can connect. The Celestial Fury. Yeah, right. Barriers down. Brain gunners 
Yeah, should shred those screamers. Warrior crossbows. Wind and fire. You're going down. Attacking unison. Your talons there. Crossbowman. Then you guys cross. junk all change went down hard into the oh that we can see there's his uh there's his staff just fall through into the nether abyss How is that able to get through all those guys? That pull through. Right, cannon. Yeah, I want you up here. I want two of these guys behind. Two of these guys in front. I want crane gunners. Here and here. So in fact, I want the cannon slightly further back. Swords, I want you here. Dragon guard. Celestial Dragon Guard there. And then I want you guys watching my left. I want the crossbows all in here. Top up your ammo. You, Tim, chilling back here. Sky Junk. We'll have you up here firing forward and through. Sentinel in here to support. Keep things nice and close. I didn't realize that this would take the entire episode. This battle. But we've got it done. Well, this is one of the longer ones. It's just because I'm taking my time with it. Going slow. Glacial. Oh, we've got plenty. We've got plenty of magic. That's all good. Don't have any more supplies. No. Fine. Uh, towers. Do I want to get rid of any of them? Oh, that one got destroyed. Actually, down there. Okay. As did that one. The only one that we still got up is this cannon tower over here. Actually. Oh. Okay. Lots of missile troops though. Hardly a surprise. I'm going, I want you... Uh, I want you dragoned up. Because all I really need is that Talents of Night spell anyway. Let's just fast forward it while we're moving into position. Let's take the last heal. Now, for this one, I do want you guys on guard mode. Right. Let's bring in some juicy, juicy, juicy sentinels. Send them to me. Wouldn't mind blocking off that point. Get ready. Is Dave the librarian? Talking too loud in the library. This is what you get. Angry librarian Dave. Who is already getting spanked with his barrier going down. Oh my days. Beautiful. Bada bing, bada boom. Have some of that. And 
and Talons of Night. Nope, nope, missed the Talons. Plot the Talons, please. That. Sentinel's ready to do battle. Here they come. Now we've got some flyers of our own. Let's get some of these longer riders out. Go for those screamers. Not got them yet. They look pretty cool, actually. I wonder how well they fare, like, compared to uh, Bretonian Pegasus Knights. Oh, that librarian is going down. I will not pay my late book fees. and all over there, please. Get him, Meow Ying. Yep. No, oh, like T-pose down. <laughs> oh, that is... That is bad. Why are you T-pose? The I mean, there are some coming in behind. Keep an eye on that a little bit. Cavalry. Take out the burning chariots. The celestial like, oh, if we could turn the cannon to fire over there, that'd be great. It would need to be in this gap here. Maybe we can do it if we turn the crane gunners like so as well. More flyers. Go over here, please. Yeah, meow. You're over here. Off you go. All right, what are these back here? They're all coming in. Horrors of all sorts of nasty kinds. Go like so. Turn around. Have this sentinel ready to go deal with them. Plot one of them in there, would you? Come out of dragon mode. Turn around, take out the screamers. Squish those horrors. Pretty swiftly. To my ancestors, defenders of Cathay, bringing harmony. Go junk. Turn around. Have some more ammo. Have some healing. Ready to defend. What would have, would have been really good, Lionheart, is if you've been using your missile mirror in this battle a lot, because you know how these guys are. Uh, the storm gathers. Or missile troops. Setting forth, rooting out evil. That would have worked really well. Mainly because I've been in dragon mode most of the time. Ready to deal with them down that way. How are we doing over here? Dragon Guard! 
Could, could you not, Chaos Furies? Order and balance. March in ordered ranks. Okay, yeah, so that's now all these guys coming in from behind. The celestial daughter. At least get a missile mirror here. They just damage themselves when they next fire off. It's such a cool spell. It would probably be too OP if you could turn it into an area effect one, though. Execute them. Oh, they're now getting through. The storm unleashed. Defenders of Cafe. Now Ying, take flight, dragon form it again. I don't think we need to worry about any of these. We just have to take out the initial wave, don't we? Up, up the top here, I think. Mines as one. Praise the dragons. Dragon guard. All in formation. They have the power of blood. Understood. Form up sentinels. King foes. Off we go. Yeah, there we go. They all just go like that. Boom. Order and the balance. Victory is ours. Would you like your demon prince soul sucked into a book? Good, because that's all we offer. Or three thousand eight hundred and forty-one took forty-three minutes. Now you're gobbling up the kills there with four hundred and fifty-three, two hundred sixty-five on the celestial uh, dragon crossbows. Noise. Can I got one hundred ninety? One hundred sixty-six on the sky junk. It's all right. It's all right. And nobody completely wiped out. Not even the cavalry. Aren't you all proud? Even the flying cavalry is fine. Quest complete. All very, very dead. How many kills did those sentinels get at the end? Few of them we brought in. Okay, not, not too many. Didn't really actually throw many of them in, actually. Um, we want to send it to the wall, don't we? So we'll take replenishment. We must break the first soul harvested. When all four have been gathered, they will combine into a single light, revealing a shadow path to the Forge of Souls. Then Urson will be within our reach. But watch this. The tome consumes the soul's energy, reaching across time, revealing secrets. It was the Old Ones that shaped this world. Yet the power they harnessed to move sun and rock could not be tamed. Raw magic erupted from the great cataclysm, flowing forth from a realm of chaos. So came the demons. 
They hunted the mortals, feeding on their souls. Yet one of their prey betrayed his kin and embraced the gods of chaos. They gifted him demonhood, and he became the first demon prince, Belakor. at the world, scarred with his armies, reveling in the bloodshed. Those who seek power will always want more, and Belakor's lust was the greatest of all. Gods of chaos, have I not fed you souls? Have I not given you the world? Give me more. The four gods punished the demon prince for his arrogance. They took everything. His armies, his power, his form. Cursed to roam the world as a shadow amongst the shadows. Powerless for eternity. Damn the gods. Belakor has spent millennia planning his revenge on the Chaos Gods. What twisted scheme has his dark mind constructed? Dun dun dun! Garrison Commander. Lovely. Was successful. We look upon the mortal lands once more, having ventured into the realm of chaos. The Tome of Fates thrums with the power of the twisted soul trapped in its pages. To reach the Forge of Souls, we require three more. We are not the only ones who seek the dying god. They employ their own methods to cross the veil into the realm of chaos. We must act with haste. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, well, Yang is back. We're gonna. We ooh, mm. So we could drop down here and deal with that army with her. But I also want to rush her to the wall as soon as possible. It's not gonna be that much of a detour. Uh, I think we're gonna stay put with Dragon Warrior Poe. I'm not gonna risk jumping on out. We need a force up here, though. Um, I mean, I could jump Dragon Warrior Poe up to the Dragon Gate. Um, we haven't quite reached the 100%. Actually, one of you saying if I went out and knocked it down, it wouldn't matter now because we haven't reached 100%. But I think even if we did go out, it's not going to stop any of these pushing and they're going to go in the next few turns. We definitely need marrying up here, otherwise we're going to lose Turtle Gate. Uh, I wonder if it's worth bringing Poe up there, but then we'll leave the Snake Gate open. It's probably best we just leave him where he is. In that case, we definitely want to rush with Miao Ying. Straight over to the Turtle Gate, because that's where we're going to have a breach. So let's go over there. If we get ourselves back into balance, then we'll have Ancestral Warriors to summon in this battle as well. We need to work all that out. One of you saying you could do a, a quick fix, which is go for the research that gives you plus three yin. If I wanted to. But we're going to wait and see what state our Harmony Balance is in. Once we fight this battle, which is a Pyrrhic victory, and we'll lose a load of our troops, so we'll need to fight that at the start of the next episode. And then we can hopefully work out what we need to do. We've got some bits going in here. That one's going in as Yin. That's going in as Yin. So we'd be on plus... We'd be on just one Yang. So it depends on what that's got in there. We should be able to bring it without... Uh, bring it back balance without any... Uh, any research tweaking things as well so that should be all good it's just whether or not we lose this one that one would actually if we lost it we'd lose our, our a bit of yang there 
that so well we'll be able to we'll be able to work with that you guys say with you tim i should grab his wind harmony and range discipline next um so let's grab that because we've done all of his spells apart from another point in harmonic convergence so that's all good yes grab those and then we'll go through the rest good 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 spend a little bit of money but we'll do that once we have fought where is it once we fought this battle next time and we'll know where things stand so until then i hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe follow me on facebook and twitter take prime to the legion check out my affiliates and sponsors games planet and overclocks uk till the next one ciao for now